What is up, pal fam? Welcome to day 81 of Countdown to Fide 100. 20 years ago, Mag young Magnus Carlsen, yes, he's he's like around 13, 14 years old in 2004, and me, I'm just stuck online. That was when I was Magnus' age in 2004. <laughs> and he's playing Sipke Earns. And it's also... I also read that before on the... Magnus Carlsen book that I've uh, that has that was my very first book so we're gonna find out what are the difference between again the difference between the engine and the book oh my gosh let's see so Carlsen starts with e4 um e4 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 C6, Karo Khan, okay, D4, D5, Knight C3, D takes, Knight takes, Bishop F5, Knight G3, Bishop G6, H4, H6, Knight F3, Knight D7, H5, Bishop H7, Bishop D3, Bishop takes, Queen takes, and E6, but you can continue about that, but we're gonna find out later. And then, Bishop F4, but it says that Bishop D2 was also played. Since Black's main reaction was considered to be like he's trying to, at least this book has good explanation. What? What? Oh. So White can probably go for Queenside Castle. But in the recent years, it's just like he just refer for Kingside. Oops, that's a bit too much. Right there. So I think it's a good one. Um, there. He just consisted of Queenside, a uh, Kingside Castle. In case the bishop is more actively placed at this square, so I think that's a good idea. About bishop f4, knight gf6, and if if he wants the plan of queenside castle, you just go black and play queen check, and then you can go provoking bishop d2, and then retreat for black. But at the same time, it can also be playable with c3 to develop counterplay with c5 right there but we're gonna find out if maybe he's gonna like gonna go c5 that would be in a counter play okay moving on castles queen side bishop e7 knight e4 queen a5 okay so queen a5 is trying to go for here but back to knight e4 it was a popular move he's trying to aim for this castles and then is trying to take that takes and then g4 in the as in the game sure of the rev 95 views to be played or wait this one used to be played the problem was the Believsky town it con continued with castles Queen e2, queen a5, king king b1, rook a d8, c4, knight takes, d takes, knight d7, bishop d2, um, no, 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 and then bishop g5. So it's trying to aim to weaken the e5 pawn, maybe it's gonna like go here, but wait. But bishop d2, I think, or rook d2, rook d2, and then bishop d2 and then bishop g5 okay it's gonna like probably gonna take it yep that was the one and then h6 and then i takes okay we don't need to do continue everything here because it's a bit too much to move on we're gonna like conclude the analysis here okay e4 and then queen a5 but in the Anand I mean Lugovic game I don't know how to read that and Anand it was like knight takes e4 of course you have to take it back oh you don't have an opening book it's on a different computer <laughs> maybe I'll do some self analysis like go queen probably he's gonna go like bishop here but I think this one a bad idea I think he's 
make it be safe to do so with this position. Okay, Queen A5. In the game, Bog and Draft in 2006 was the exchange. Knight of 6, Queen E2. And then Queen D5. King B1. And Queen E4. Then you have to obtain, obtained a roughly equal endgame. Okay. Um, King D1, castles, and a knight takes f6 check. It could have been done with g4 according to the book. Knight takes knight e5, knight d takes e5, d takes a d8, and queen h3. There would be a sharp play. Maybe this knight can only go for here. And I wouldn't say like. Maybe he's gonna go like queen here to try to ready readying up for checkmate. Okay, knight takes f6, knight takes f6, knight e5, rook a rook a d8, queen e2. There has been a threat of c5. That's why he is go for rook um rook a d8. So I'm just like threaten here. It could have been parried by queen. Oh wait. Queen to b3 instead. But after queen b6, queen takes a takes, and practically equal endgame has been reached. Okay, so c5. According to the engine, the better one is queen b6, queen d3, c5, queen g3, king h8, d takes, bishop takes, bishop e3, bishop takes, and then it's an equal position. Maybe. Gonna go for this queen takes and tries to go for the exchange right there. But it states that the book said Queen B6 as well. Okay, Queen B6. It was in An and Barif, Russia versus the rest of the world. Okay. But the threat of knight g6 is a bad idea. Because it's married by Bishop to a3. Threatening checkmate. Okay. C5 and then Knight g6. Okay, so it's a good move. And then f takes g6. Okay. And yeah, it could be go for the Bolgon and Annan game. It was. Yeah. Rook f e8. And then. Takes, takes. Knight d takes c5. Knight to d5. Bishop e3. Knight takes, queen takes. But in the actual game, it was. Rook e d7. It was essential since the c5 pawn is regained. Okay, so f takes e6 or f takes g6. Not a bad move, but it's just a mistake according to the book. So queen takes e6. White is already winning, and then king h8. H takes g6, creating a mating net since black has no defense against the sacrifice at h6. Destroying his king's protection. Knight g8. Or, according to the engine, queen b6, queen takes, knight g8, queen e4, rook takes, rook takes, c takes, bishop e5, knight f6, and white is going to win here. However, if it's either rook d8, or maybe gonna go for a rook here, there's a decisive rook takes. G takes bishop takes followed by this. That's also the same on fifty seven. It's trying to go for a queen check and trying to take those one to attack two of the pieces. And going back, there's bishop takes h six. Okay, sacrificing the bishop. G takes rook takes knight takes queen e seven. Knight f7, g takes, rook king d3, rook king g7, rook d3, and then rook d6. So, may could have, it could have been avoided by queen b6, and then rook g3, queen g6, takes, takes. But the same endgame, after d5, it's already hopeless. It's already winning for white. Look at that. This is the problem.
Okay. Rook d6, and then rook g3, rook g6, queen e5, king takes, queen f5, rook f6, and queen d7, a spectacular epaulette mate. Yes! If you actually think that the epaulette mate is like rook here, rook here, and then the king is right there, and then the queen is right here, you're right. But it can also work on this. Wait. It can also work on this way because. It's an Apaluate mate with rooks here, and then the king is right there, and then the king uh, and the queen controls the square, and then the other one is rook right there. Rook is controlling this squares. Okay. Okay. All right. That's all for today. Here to count the video 100 and for the entirety of month of June. Tomorrow in 2005, we're gonna. Tomorrow it will be July, the final month here at the countdown to video 100. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. So, yeah, we'll conclude it. Thank you so much for watching, Pal Fan. Be sure to subscribe and become a Patreon member at patreon.com slash power And I'll see you in July for another. Another. For the last 19, I think? 19 to 20. 19 to 20 videos of Countdown to Feed 100. <laughs>